You're supposed to have a new album coming. Uh, Ray Jean, Ray Jean, top of 2020. January 10th. Is that a real? Is that How a real date? This date? I know things. This nigga right here, bro. This shit crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, for real. How you get that date, bro? I got the date. It's in my notes. We researched it. He looked at that Instagram the other day. Man. I look at everything. This for is what sure. I. This is what you rap for a living. I do interviews for a living. For sure. You know, for sure. you take your shit seriously. I, I ain't. I just ain't think I took that shit right down. Cause people were like, <laughs> like my A and R. She like, man, why you always do this shit? Why can't you let us introduce? So like, January, why can't you let us announce it? January tenth. For sure, though. January 10th. We might as well say it now. Might as well. Vlad TV. <laughs> January 10th. I'm dropping again. I'm sorry to all my fans and supporters that I only dropped one time this year. It was me um, dropping and then trying to learn more about this shit. You feel me? Cause I jumped into this shit dropping. Like, dropping for real. Like, when everybody knew Standing for Vegas, I dropped big four times. Like, when we thought everybody knew me, but everybody didn't know me yet. You feel me? So, I learned a lot. I made mistakes. I learned from my mistakes. Rich Young in top of 2020. Next month or the month after February, I'm gonna drop another like project for sure. Okay, who's on? Uh, who's on Rich Young? What are the features? Can you Shout say? out, tell him, bravo. It's Black. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big platform, big announcement. Black youngster. Okay, the baby, I'm sure, is on it. No. Might not be? Okay. Nah, he might not be. He might not be. He might be. He might not be. Okay. And that's that's up to me. That's up to me, though. Like, it's yeah. up to me and him. It's like, let's, but, because, you know, if it's a baby and stunner song, everybody in the world, if, if they could be a stunner fan, a hardcore stunner fan, or a both of us fan, or, you feel me? They just going to go to that stunner and baby song. How do you feel, you know, because, you know, we're talking about the baby right now. You, you're going to have haters, mm -hmm. right? That just comes with it. How do you feel about the people who say, well, you just hot because of the baby, because the baby's hot right now, and you know, you with them. That's the reason why you're hot. If it wasn't for the baby, you wouldn't be hot. What do you say to people like that? Man, when I, I see it a lot, though. You feel yeah. me? I see, I, I see it like, if I comment on baby shit, it's like his fans just attack me, bro. Some of them show sure love, though, but like, <laughs> I comment on bro shit like, bro, you fresh as fuck. Nigga, stop dig around this nigga. Or like, <laughs> Like, what? Nigga, the nigga saw me, but like, nigga changed my life, you feel me? Like, I'm telling the nigga he fresh, that's it, you feel me? Nigga be like, like, literally, I read that shit the other day, like, nigga, this baby carrying you. I, I posted, a, yeah. like, a lyric from my tape. Song baby shit changed my life. Somebody like, yeah, he carrying your ass. Like, shit, I don't know how this, like, apply to that, though, but like, you feel me? Like, shit. It, I, it would only make me feel some type of way if baby said it. Like, if baby was like, Came on an interview with somebody or some or, or to myself like, yeah. and was like, "Stunner for Vegas, my artist." I turned that little nigga up. He's never said no shit like that, and he turned me up, and I'm his artist. But he never even like, like, bro, I was so mad that nigga went and saying, "Stunner for Vegas, my artist." Before we did that interview with you, bro, we I had been his artist. Mm. We had been did paperwork like. Yeah, I didn't know. I actually found out about it during the interview. I got an independent label, Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment. Like, he the LeBron James of that. Like, you know, okay, like, so you signed him to your label, basically? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what's yeah. up. But I'm like, bro, like, we started off with, like, this uh, the fourth quarter agenda. And it's just, we talking October. I'm like, this the fourth quarter agenda. You know, this, 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 and this. We quadrupled that shit. Like, he came, you know, he paid for the animal verse. He, he did, like, 10 features. <laughs> for more than what he paid me for that version. Yeah. Like, he booked up. Like, yeah. he's booked up to, like, March. Like, right now, he's booked up to, like, March. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he booked the fuck up. And a lot of people, they ain't even want to see that go down. Like, bro, you don't need to. Nah, bro, you don't need to fuck with him. He didn't circles around all them niggas. Yeah, right? you feel me? Remember, yeah. I was, like, just asking questions. He was like, oh, I signed him. I'm like, oh, you signed. And then we, yeah, we talked about that. And that's, and that's what he was doing, though. Baby always had... Like, when he signed me, and he didn't know he was going to go sign the Interscope. Like, when he had done all the stuff that happened, like, the situations that happened, y'all know, whatever. He, like, we didn't know none of that was going to happen before he signed me, you feel me? Mm -hmm. When he signed me, he had a list, like, 10 things on it. And it said, bro, this is what I can do for you. And I, I, I was like, I had nothing, though, you feel me? I had nothing at all, bro, for sure. Like, I had nothing, like... When I did have something, it was because of 